Hello, everyone. Welcome to the craft studio with your favorite craft person, Sam. We're going to make some jellyfish. So what you're going to need is a bottle with some water in. What I've already done is I've put some blue food coloring in. I might try and see if there's any more drops left to see if we can make it any more bluer than it already is. If you don't have blue food coloring, you don't need to. I just thought it might look quite nice. No, we are all out. There was so little left in my blue food coloring. That's going to stay blue like that. So you're going to need a bottle. You're going to need water. What else are you going to need? You're going to need maybe a plastic wallet again or acetate. Plastic wallets are easier to come by than acetates I found this week. Um, and you're going to need elastic bands. And I have a bowl full of them. Um, the smaller the elastic band, the better, so the little ones. I don't know if any of the uh, girly adults that you have might have those little small ones that they put in hair when they're doing hair stuff or something. I know Emma has something like that. They might be really good to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a jellyfish. I've started a little bit, but we're going to need to cut out the corner of your acetate. So little ones. Be careful with your scissors, because they can be quite sharp. I'm cutting the wrong corner. Here we go. So you're going to need to cut a corner like that. So what, you're gonna, what I've done is I've grabbed some strips that I thought I was going to need, but I'm not actually going to need. You're going to need to put something in the corner of your acetate. And that's when you put the elastic band through, so like it's a little ball, so it's like a little bit of a weight. So you could use little bits of acetate, scrunch that up, put your band through. And then if you want to color any of the acetate, you can. I'd taken a bit in preparation, and I put some green on it, and then I, I used a different bit anyway. But you could do that so to make your jellyfish, because that's what our jellyfish is going to look like. And then we can cut around this little bit of a skirt thing we've made. to make his quite big, jellyfishy, tentacly legs. And one thing that I think we're going to reference back to is jellyfish don't actually have spines. That's why I wibble wobbled, wibble wobbled at the end of the service last week. There we go. I'm obviously slower at cutting than Emma and Chrissy and Emily, who are our craft. Guru. So it looks like that. As you can see it, flippity floppity. Put the lid off. And hopefully, this will go into our bottle of water. He's a massive jellyfish. He's upside down. Can we get him in that way? Here we go. Here we go. Bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. And that is our bottle with a jellyfish in. I am going to say, pick another color, because you can kind of see his legs, but you need to look really carefully, and, and maybe it's just my eyes. But that's a jellyfish, so you could make smaller ones. So the piece I cut, that's going to be a little bit of a smaller jellyfish. You can make some different size jellyfish and have a little family of jellyfish in a bottle. Or you can get a big two-liter bottle of something and fill that up with water and do loads of jellyfish families. So here it is. I'll come show you. You can see a bit without me destroying the set. I don't know if you can see. You can see his little head. I don't know if you can see his little jellyfish legs flobbing around. And he's, he's popping his head up out the water to say, hello, everyone. That's wonderful. So that is our craft 